Hi, I'm Karen Parker. I'm with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. With me is Officer Travis Cooper. And today we wanna to talk to you about sturgeon on the Suwannee River. The sturgeon are back in the river and they are jumping. The three best things that you can do to avoid um, injury is to go slow. That gives you more time to react if a sturgeon does jump in front of you. Always wear your life jacket. That way, if you, if you do get knocked into the water, you'll be protected. And keep people off the bow of the boat. Uh, Travis, what have you seen since you've been out here? Um, yes, we, we have had, our officers have had several um, encounters with close jumping sturgeons to our patrol vessels. Um, so we do encourage everyone to always wear their life jacket. Um, be observant while you're operating your vessel and drive at a slow speed. And the question I get asked the most is, why do they jump? Um, I have spoken with scientists uh, who, are doing, who are doing research on the sturgeon, and their theory is they jump to gulp air to inflate their swim bladder so they can maintain neutral buoyancy on the bottom. Um, they actually come up into the river to spawn, and then once they spawn, they congregate in specific areas. Um, usually the deeper holes in the river We've got about eight major holding areas on the river. The trestle is actually one of them. Um, the confluence of the Suwannee and the Santa Fe is another. Even though you may not be in one of these major holding areas, always be aware that sturgeon can jump anywhere on the river. The big deal is we don't want to scare anybody off the river. We, this is a beautiful place. I love it out here. I get out here as much as I can. Travis is out here all the time. And we want people to come out and enjoy it. We just want to make you aware that these fish are here. Uh, we ask that you be careful, wear your life jacket, um, and, and keep an operator that's not impaired, be observant while they're operating their vessel and enjoy the river.